Hello and welcome to Troglotex T815 Crawler System. Now this is a curious little place to survey. I go past this on my walk each day and to my left is a dry riverbed and it has this sort of concrete opening which is around about two foot, 600 millimetres in diameter. And I thought, well I've got a crawler system, might as well go and see where this pipe actually goes to. So I can't, can never find the other end of it. So. First of all, the crawl is pointing the wrong direction, but that's not a problem because, of course, the T815 is steerable. And I thought, wow, this is going to be quite straightforward. I just turn it round. And, of course, I'm remote to this now. I couldn't put the cable drum above this entrance because that's an emergency exit from a nursing home. So I couldn't put it there. So I've put the cable drum a few metres distance, uh, probably about 10 or 20 metres away, and I'm just controlling the tractor through the display unit, so I can see what's going on, I can control the crawler from there. Well, I've had a couple of goes of getting in the entrance, but it goes downhill quite severely just before the entrance to the pipe, and I can't get the head of the camera in there, so what I do is I'll put the lifting device on it again, the lifting device is really clever. It will hold on to that crawler really hard while you're lifting it. And as soon as you remove any pressure from it, when you've reached where you want to go, it will just come off. Uh, so there's no hooks or anything to worry about. So yeah, I've lifted it up into position. And the concrete only lasts a metre or so. Um, and then it turns into what is probably 600 millimetre polypropylene black. So you're not going to see a great deal in there, um, especially when I've only got the 8-inch wheel set on the, on the crawler at the moment. But anyway, I'm keen and we'll have a look down there. We can always use the 812 pan and tilt head on the system to see what's going on. Um, but first of all, I'll just go up the full length of it, see how long it is. Letting out a bit more cable now, I've zeroed the cable counter before I started. And uh, I've let eight metres of cable out, and that seems to be just the complete length of that pipe. So it doesn't go a great distance at all. So yeah, eight metres from start to finish. And as we go forward, you can see it's just sort of twigs and sticks. And I do know where that is. That's at the bottom of another dry riverbed further up the road. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to pop out the other end of it. But what I can do is I can have a good look around while I'm there. So that's a reversing camera. I'll pull in the cable a bit because I don't want to run it over. Um, so yeah, pull in a bit of cable, reverse out slightly. And then what I do is I use the pan and tilt camera to have a good look around. As I said, it's 600 uh, millimetre polypropylene, so you don't get much reflection from that at all. And you can see I'm looking right into the sun there. So yeah, I can have a good look around. And what I do is I look through the, the complete one complete revolution of of the surface of the pipe um, um, what I do is I focus in at the bottom there we go that's the bottom of the pipe the, we've got uh, mimics on the screen which tells me which way the camera's pointing and that was pointing straight down and now I'm pointing straight up uh, refocus on that because obviously I'm not in the centre of the pipe because I've only got 8 inch wheels fitted ok so what I can do from here is I can reverse out and uh, then what I do is I'm interested in what the fools are on each length of this pipe and it seems to be made out of probably about four sections of 600 millimeter polypropylene pipe each one with a different inclination so I'll start where the concrete ends which is just coming up now so I'll stop here and then I'll go forwards and I'll watch the inclinometer so about 0.4 of a degrees to start with accelerating and that's about about 1.5 degrees inclination and up to about 3 degrees inclination and then this section well it's over 10 degrees because we've got all the X's up on the screen and then we're back down to about 1 degree inclination right to the end of the pipe so yes four sections all a different inclination so it's a bit of a hodgepodge of a pipe to be honest yep so at least I know now where that pipe goes to and what I do is I reverse the crawler out of this pipe but, and also have a look at that concrete section because that's rather strange as well because that's at an angle to the polypropylene um, and at quite an angle as well, probably about 30 degrees 
from the entrance point. So I drop down into the concrete and I can control the crawler speed absolutely perfectly. We can have complete range of speed to a survey over two meters per second um, to just crawling along. So yeah, I have a quick look at this section between the concrete and the polypropylene. And yes, it really does look a mess, uh, all sorts of holes and things in it. And the concrete is coming apart as well. Um, yeah, no one's gonna see that unless they put a crawler in there. But anyway, I'm just interested in looking to see what's in there. And I'll focus in on that, and that's obviously concrete that's been worn away, leaving just these large stones. And now what I'll do is I'll reverse out of there and retrieve the crawler, as simple as that. So, yeah, it was interesting, that was, and I've always wondered where that goes to. So there's a view from the reversing camera, and that's the lifting device there. So I'll get that out of the way and just reverse the crawler out of this um, concrete pipe and then retrieve the crawler, simple as that. So yep, yeah, uh, the, the tractor can be steered anywhere. Of course, we're completely steerable, so I can put it in a place wh where it's easy to get to. And that probably looks about, well, a bit further forward. Yeah, that's about right. And then I use the lifting device and mine that stinging nettle again. Uh, there we go, just drop the lifting device over it and lift, and that's it. Well, thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again.